agree. We all need water. Can you agree? We all need water. All right, so look, you know, as I promised, you know, on my other video, I told y'all I will be dropping 25 ways on how to boost your dopamine. You know, I got my list that I had put together right here. So I'm going to be breaking it down in, in some, you know, ways that you could picture it. So here we go. Here Loki is. Y'all wanted to see it. I'm here to give it. This is my show. Let's show it out. I was going to put this on, but I don't need to hear myself. I already thought about it. So listen, the first thing, the first thing to raise the dopamine, the first thing to raise the dopamine, the first thing, the first thing that you can do to raise your dopamine, the first thing, the first thing that you can do to raise your dopamine, all you have to do, go for a run, go for a bike ride, take a yoga class, lift weights, go to the gym, like like lift weights at the gym, not just lift weights like by yourself. Exercising regularly is a quick way to boost your dopamine, like Superman hour. They said it's like on some real shit, like. That's 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 like a quick way to raise your dopamine by exercising regularly. Like you know, get a quick in. Like, like look, I know y'all heard the air. Y'all heard the air. I'm telling y'all, y'all heard the air. I'm tell. But look, on some real things though, we are gonna get to the second one right here. Look, the second one right. Listen to music that makes you happy. Create a playlist of your favorite songs. Or listen to a new album by your favorite artist. Like, you know, put on some of those, like, those classical, you know, things that get you in your jam. You Like, on some, on some real, real tough shit. Like, put on whatever gonna get you out of, out of, you know, the little funk that you in. Put it on your favorite song. Put it on your favorite, your favorite, uh, uh, soothing music, you know? You know, I, I say put on some underground music. Right? But, uh, third, but we not done yet. We just started. We just begun. Eat food that's rich in torsos, such as almond. You know, I'm going to give y'all some examples. Almonds, this is good for your torso. Bananas, avocados, or snacks on a handful of almonds. You can snack on like a handful of uh, almonds. Or you could be eating some avocados, some bananas. Like you can make a smoothie with those. Make a avocado smoothie. Make a avocado banana. Like you could be doing a lot of things with those. So like you could put yourself in a perspective where you know. If you eat food that's like brings that that that's good for your torso, this will add you know more boost to your 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 feeling of accomplishing your dopamine. So like listen, so the first three we said exercise regularly. Second we said listen to your favorite artist or you listen to any music that you know puts you in that space that makes you happy, that makes you feel like you're accomplishing, and then eat like like God damn. God damn. So look, make make sure make sure make sure you uh <laughs> make sure make sure uh you know you eating foods that you will help you, you know, feel more uh active, such as bananas, avocados. Uh, these will, you know, bring you more uh, a refreshing feeling. So I want to let uh, everybody know that you know, eat, eating rich foods that have more tyrosine, tyrosine, tyrosine. But like in other words, like if you if you can't you know pronounce that word, these are examples such as almond, banana, 
and avocados and you can make a smoothie with both of these and it's gonna you know bring you some type of some some jittiness to you some some upper or upper both get enough sleep each night create a relaxing bedtime routine such as reading a book or taking a warm bath like you know this boosts your dopamine to the roof like all you got to do really just you know kick back chill you know get get enough rest for yourself and wake up refreshed and, and when you wake up do a quick stretch like enjoy that stretch enjoy that you could be able to stretch fourth one you did that so that's gonna realize your uh your dough for me fifth spend time in nature go for a hike take a walk in the park or spend time gardening so when spend time in nature be in real life be in your environment you know go go outside You know, see, see, see life for how real it is, and you know, not from a screen or what's in your head. Get enough time spent in nature. This will rise your dopamine to the roof. Like you know, this this will get you feeling you know jitty, feeling you know enough. Feeling like, you know, you uh, don't need to be around every single body. Six, practice mindfulness such as meditation. Try a guided meditation, you know, on YouTube. You can type whatever, you know, mental issue you have. And you can type that, you know, meditate to it. Or you could just, you know, learn different deep breathing, breathing techniques. And you could be doing your breath work and, you know, while you, um... Finding the different patterns of breathing, you can find which one is, you know, most efficient for yourself. Spend time in nature. That That's an easy practice for mindfulness. So, you know, the spending time in nature is like a meditation. Go for a walk. I'm not just saying go for a walk around the park. If you go for a walk, just, you know, just to go for a walk, not just to have a destination. Just go for a walk, just to go for a walk. And then, you know, uh, you allow that walk to, you know, be what you experience. And that's you a little meditation for that day. And then seventh, set and achieve small goals. Make a to-do list every day. And cross out each task. Like, add to your to-do list after you cross off one. That's what I mean by every day. So you just every time you cross off one, add a new one, and and you know task as you complete it. Make sure you know you add more when you cross it off though, so you can keep the momentum building. And laugh, laughing like these all everything I'm breaking down right now is all things that's gonna boost your dopamine to the ceiling. And then the um the eighth one, laugh and have fun with friends and family. Watch a comedy movie. Play board games or go out for a night out of, on the town. So, you know, just, you know, doing things that it, other than just being, you know, isolated, uh, it can raise your dopamine. Unless you're, you're being isolated for a reason, you know, you're doing things on your own that will use your dopamine, like watching a comedy movie on your own or with your loved one. Or playing a board game with your siblings, or, you know, going out for a night in the town, meaning you know, you just going out with the guys and the gang and the motherfucking bitches or whatever the fuck you call them, fucking motherfuckers. And nice, but we're not done yet. We still got a lot more to do, a lot more to go, a lot more to show, a lot more to boom, but up about. But look, so now learn something new every day. Read a book, take a class. Watch a documentary, or you know, get a chorus. Get get a chorus. Get some invested to yourself. You know, get a cost. Get a cost. Get a consultation. Talk talk to a therapist. Get 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 some help. It, it don't gotta be, you know, some somebody uh, 
that's in a fucking field, like a <laughs> that's that's in a field of uh, something else, some other work that you're not into. Make sure that you get it from somebody who's in the same field of work that you do, so you know it can resonate more and can actually, you know, be more of a help you experience more and expand what you know about that certain subject. But uh, the tenth one, but you know, not we're not done yet. Spend time doing activities you enjoy. Like with me, I'll be making music, but with you, if you like you like to draw, paint, art, write, make a book, play an instrument, learn how to play the guitar, learn how to do the drum, learn how to, you know, make your voice an instrument. Eleven, take a break from social media, technology, go for a walk without your phone, take off your computer, I mean... Turn off your computer for a day. Take a break from social media. All this will boost, you know, your dopamine. You know. And I know for sure, because it was like months, weeks, I went without popping up on this damn online. Like, I turned all, all the technology off. Like, no TV, no nothing. I'm talking about, it's such a good vibe, y'all. It's such a good vibe. But for real, you know. This will raise your dopamine to the ceiling. Twelve. Spend time with animals. Play with your pets. Volunteer at an animal shelter or go horseback riding. Do something adventurous. Like, you know, do something that's, you know, spontaneous. Like, feed the outside birds or some shit. Like, do some, you know, something that you usually wouldn't do. Like, spend time with animals, you know. And real shit, if you got an animal, you know, start to appreciate it a little more than you used to. It it helps you um, fill uh, your dopamine up. And what your dopamine is, you know, it's you feeling accomplished and you're not needing nothing from the outside to really, you know, consider that. But these is a bunch of, you know, techniques, you know, tips that you can you know, take in and go about with your own life. Do it for yourself so you could, you know, feel secure about yourself. Okay? Now, 13. Get a massage or practice self-care massage. Use a foam roller massage ball or a massage chair to relax your muscles. So, you know, text your partner, ask for a massage, shit. You know, return a favor back. Don't be just, you know, a, a, a taker instead of, you know, a giver as well, you know. You give, then take, but you know, to you know, take first. Ask and then give. Is it, is it, if they don't want it, you don't gotta give it. Look, I, look, look, look. Okay, ask then give. It. But um, fourteen. Try you know uh, oil therapy such as using like lavender. Put that in the tub, or you know, you know, get some um. You know, uh, body, uh, baby oil, rub that on your body, and you know, uh, and like, just you know, um, you know, this should like boost your mood, like in general. You know, it it, it should give you some energizing. You know, and you can get some um, incense that you could like uh, light up. You know, while you oiling yourself. But don't don't like uh get by the fire though. I like, want some real shit like the the candle or whatever you're using for the inset is just for you know the vibe to be set. But fifteen practice gratitude and focus on a positive. Write down three things you're grateful for. Each day and keep a journal of positive experiences. So look, you can keep one for the negative too. But look, the thing is, right with me, I I be you know my eyes be going all over the fucking place with the camera right there, my notes right here, and everything in my my camera. I just like looking at myself, and I got I got a TV right here. <laughs> I got a t I got a monitor right there, I got a TV right here. But um, yeah. So like you know, uh, just you know doing this, you know, just boost your mood, get you in in, in the vibe, and you know practicing gratitude, you know. Keeping uh 
you know, what you're grateful of, like, from my experience of me doing it is, you know, it manifests more reasons to be grateful, you know, it manifests for me new situations to, you know, be able to experience, you know, I don't want to say, you know, this is the only reason that these experiences manifested, but I'll be honest with you, I'm going to say that it wasn't, it was just one's routine pattern before uh, I was doing, you know, the gratitude journey, but, um, yeah, we finna, you know, get into, uh, we finna get into, uh, Gonna get into we finna get Hello, can am I shit on? I right, was texting my girl. But um so we getting back into it though. So where was I at? I left off uh sixteen, so spend time with loved ones, have a family dinner or go out on a date with your partner. Or call a friend. So, you know, you're going to be spending time with your loved ones. And when you're spending time with your loved ones, you'll go on a date with your, your partner. I'll call a friend. It's going to push your dopamine to the ceiling, to the roof. Get outside. Enjoy the sun. Go for a walk. Have a picnic. Or read a book outside. Like, get some vitamin D. Just being outside raises the dopamine. Dopamine, vitamin D. da 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 da, da. Take a cold shower, dip into a cold pool, or you know, you know, take a cold shower after you, you work your workout, or go for a swim in a cold pool. So you know, this this will you know bring you in you know some type of like a shock, and it's gonna wake your ass up. It's gonna get you, it's gonna, it's gonna get you that dopamine, that energy that you, you know you're looking for. You know you don't gonna have to do no drugs. You know up this, you just gotta do that. Learn learn to play a, a musician instrument. You know you see you see the uh, the piano players when they be playing it like. Like they into that shit, so just learn to play mu- mu- music instrument. Take lessons to use online tutorials to learn, cause like doing this, you know, it, it it'll give you your own, you know, uh, way of rising your dopamine when there's nothing, you know, no one else could do or show you. Oh, so, you know, practice taking deep breaths. Take a few deep breaths and hold f- a count of four. Hold for a count of four. Exhale for a count of four. This is you know the four 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 breath technique but you know that's just one of them bro it's one that's like it, it, that's just one of them low skis it's one that's like so much better that you know you see the results it's like you gotta do it yourself for you really to even you know get where i even come from but that fo 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 that that you know that that's cool it's cool it's good it's good for knowing what's your thoughts what's not your thoughts but that other one you can you can tell you can tell who thoughts that shit is, where that come from. But um, twenty one, spend time with your child, play with your kids, your babysit, like babysit for a friend or volunteer at school or a daycare. You know, like if you don't got nothing else going on, like just spending time with children, kids. You know, your nephew, your niece, or um, you know, just be around some some yo. Somebody younger than you will bring you some type of uh dopamine, like it'll bring you up, like you know, it's like just you know help, you know, just like they like spending time with a child, you can learn a lot from just being around a child. And then twenty two, spend some time, you know, with yourself, you know, and like this could just you know be in like you know the moments you are in the bathroom, like truly appreciate them. And you know twenty three. Practice yoga, take a yoga class, use an online tour, tour, and practice your own. Like, you can make your own stretches. Like, that's what yoga is, is you stretching. And your own stretching, you could be like, I'm the best. You know? But, like, you could put a little more, like, put some spaz in that shit. Like, some, I'm the best! Yeah, something, something like, you know, something like that. But, 24 Spend time with friends or go out for dinner or see a movie or have a game night. Like, be the host. You be the person that can get everybody, you know, out they, they little, you know, uh, room. You be the you be the extrovert for sometimes, you know. Take a break from work. Take a day off. 
or go on vacation or take a mental health day and go like for a day where it's just about your mental health about what what is you know making you feel um such peace you know i'm i'm gonna give y'all i'm gonna give y'all three more okay get out with three more and you know here's one more so spend time in silence you know just like straight silence you know so sit in a quiet room or you know try to learn a new language or take a class or just use the app for a week and then practice with your friend who speaks that language you know and if you if you are a person you know who uh can like you know spend time in the city like y'all have a museum or you like to go shopping you know this this is a way to boost your dopamine or you know spend time by water you can go swimming or you can go take a bath or you can go by the beach uh you know you know um just straight up spending time on the countryside you can go for a walk or visit like farm animals or you can go stargazing even though you know when you look in the mirror that's when you really stargaze like you know you the star or you know you can really just like all these things that I'm, I'm 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 stating right now they boost your your dopamine or you can spend time in a park and you know have a picnic or play frisbee with a, a loved one you know have some fun and you know that's really about it honestly you know like if you really if you if you really want to you know you know get into it you could uh you know practice self reflection and write a journal and meditation and talk to yourself like you're the therapist. And you know, all of this will rise your dopamine. And hey, I told y'all, look, I promised it and I pulled through. All I ask for y'all, I'm not, I don't want no like. I don't want you to subscribe. I want you to have a beautiful, blessed life. Peace.